um, police officer in a small town in mid-Michigan, Vassar. He walks in, and the way we do the investigations now is if, if he walks in and I make the approach first and I can get him to talk to me, which most of the time is what happens, mm-hmm. that's the way I do it. When I'm finished with my talking to him, and I'm involved in terms of watching the chats and dealing with the, the law enforcement decoys who go online. And so I have a sense of what's who he happening is, here, right. who he is, what he wants. And, and sorry to cut you off there. Much like Catch a Predator was, what you're doing now, do you guys still have a camera crew that's oh, yeah, in there? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so well, he it's knows. The same, it's the same. I mean, obviously everybody he you know, knows know you. He first. Yeah. And shockingly, after 18 years of doing it, some guys don't even know it's me now. Gotcha. Right? So, well, it's because you're tall. Exactly. They're not, they're not expecting a tall Chris Hansen to walk in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and his hair got gray. Yeah, it was. It's crazy. It used to be gray. But he comes in, pulls in his you know, new pickup truck, and he marches in. And I've talked to the male on-site decoy. So there's a guy there who's, you know, like a police cadet who looks younger. And the, the, the line that he's going to use is, come on in. And I left my vape upstairs. Something a kid would say. Something a kid would say. Exactly. So he comes in. Well, it was the first one of that day, right? And so the decoy was a little, I don't know, gave off maybe a bit of a nervous vibe. And so Bracco, being a cop, gets sketchy and bolts. So I don't even, I come around the corner. I said, hey, you know, I'm going to need to talk to you. And he's gone. Cops grab him. Bring him back in. The scene is secured. Now I get a shot to interview him. Now if he talks to me, great. If he doesn't, well, these gentlemen over here would like to speak to you, and Mm -hmm. I step to the side. So he's getting shitty with me. I mean, he's just indignant, and he's turning around and turning those cameras off and ordering me what to do. I said, look, you're not running the show here. And there's cameras over here, cameras over here, and cameras over here, and now the big cameras come out. And I'm Adam, and, and he says, you don't know, I didn't do anything wrong. I said, well, I've got the chat right here, and I read the chat back. And then I take the tube of lubricant, which he brought with him, and I put it around his face, and what's this? <laughs> Off he goes. He leaves, and I say to the crew, I said, that's going to be a cop, you know, a school administrator, somebody in a position of authority, as I mentioned earlier. And um, they toss his car, three loaded guns, his creds, and handcuffs. And now people are coming out of the woodwork to me about stuff he's done before, why he was fired from a previous uh, agency. agency. He was also a school administrator in charge of kids. He was um, um, accused. I had the city, uh, the town supervisor of a small town, say that he went to her home and harassed her because she fired him. And when she drove through the town where he was a cop until he was busted, he pulled her over and rode her 30 over, which would be reckless driving, and, and just to jam her up. And so you got this, this is like one of those movies about the rogue, bad, evil cop. You're right. And this thing will become a segment of its own at some point. Just a nightmare so for society, basically. Well, yeah, Someone in a position of authority guy. that's a predator. And I found out that he had interviewed, you know, at a larger department in Oakland County Sheriff's Department, which is run by, you know, a sheriff who went to the same high school I went to. You know, I grew up in that area, so, you know, it's hard to pick a major law enforcement agency where I don't know people. Of course. And and they flagged him. I don't know. This, he's had too many different jobs here. This is... Unsettled. There's a reason. So yeah. let's back this up a little bit. What was he, the cadet you had there, how old was he posing as? He was posing as 14, 15, 14, about to turn 15. And how did he approach you? What was it on Instagram? This Facebook? was on a, on a social media, uh, you know, platform. Um, I think this might have been Kick or maybe Grinder or something like that. Mm-hmm. And, and you're supposed to be 18 to go on, but kids go on it. And they say, look, I'm only this. And they make it very clear. And then there's a discussion in the chat about are your parents home and are you sure this is okay? And do you like bottom or top? And, you know, yeah, the are you showered? Are... I smell good. And, you know, do you shave? You know, the usual stuff. And, and so he, it was clear in the chat. You know, and as you know, as a lawman, 
you know, in most states, the crime is committed with a solicitation online. Absolutely. Showing up is, you know, icing on the cake. Right. That's the TV part of it. That's when you get them in Generally, custody. in most states, the solicitation is in the chat logs. And that's the case. So let's finish this up. Where's the, what was this guy charged with? He was charged with uh, two or three counts related to solicitation of a minor for sex using um, the Internet uh, for... Uh, you know, lewd and lascivious behavior, and he immediately, you know, the sheriff's department that arrested him got him held on bail. Some of these guys get out on their own recognizance right. really quickly, and he was held overnight. He finally made bond, and he was suspended that day. The sheriff in Genesee County, Chris Swanson, is very proactive. His ghost team, the Genesee Human Oppression uh, Strike Team, uh, is well into the hundreds in terms of guys they've arrested. And we crossed paths. He was one of the sheriffs during the uh, Black Lives Matter protests in and around Flint, Michigan, who diffused it without violence. He got attention worldwide because he was on a, on a vehicle and took his helmet off and walked with the crowd. Walked out there, I do remember the situation. that. And he was on everywhere. So I had him on my YouTube show, I have a seat with Chris Hansen to talk about that. And, you know, at the time I was gearing up to do more predator stuff, so he was one of the law enforcement uh, officials who, who I'm now working with on these new predators.